There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So you guys, what's up? Okay, like serious. I've been at this for like three hours, three and a half hours doing videos. I think this is video number five and it's the last one. I saved the best. You know how they be like, save the best for last, save the best for last. Well, let's hope this is the best for the last, okay? I got a wig from this company before, so we're about to do another wig for them. This is a company called Dulago. I did get a 22 inch 13 by six lace wig. It's 250% density and it is a um, deep curly wig. Inside the box comes a wig cap. There was some elastic in here too. There was also an elastic band. Prior to this portion of the video, you know, I went ahead and I dyed it. I just used like the Revlon color silk because I just didn't want it to be too dark, but I just wanted to have some color. So this is the color that it came out. I used the lightest, lightest blonde. I don't really like to use the Revlon color silk that's $2.92, like the lightest blonde on dark hair because for one, it, the chemicals in it are not as strong versus like if you would use like Dark and Lovely or Cream of Nature or the Clairol product for um, black women, hair dye that's made specifically for women of color, that one, those three brands will have, was it three brands? Cream of Nature, um, Dark and Lovely, um, and Clairol. Okay. I think, right? Yeah, anyway. So um, those, if you use the lightest blonde in those, your hair will get way lighter than this. But when you use the Revlon color silk, like it doesn't. I don't know why. I guess, I don't know. But so I dyed it and this is the color that came out. I couldn't find Dark and Lovely because Walmart was out of it. And it's $4.92 at Walmart, the Dark and Lovely or the, you know what I'm saying? But I was not about to spend like $7 at Sally's for it or any other beauty supply store or Walgreens for that matter. So I just use the cheap brand. For the color, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? It's like a reddish tonish brown. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a gray color brown. It's not, it's not dark. Okay. So I did bleach the knots of this unit and I did pre-pluck the hairline and no, they didn't even send me no elastic. What am I talking about? So, or maybe they did. No, they didn't because I used my own elastic band and this is what I like have this whole huge roll of elastic but it's so cheap that i just don't like the stretch of it so this is what else i had on hand so i just decided to use the white one and it has the combs inside but the combs right here where it's supposed to go like right here they go back here so i wasn't like a huge fan of that um they should move them up a little bit or you can just do it yourself and then there's adjustable strap and a comb and a nape like i said it says say the best for last so a bitch hope she did say the less for last okay <laughs>
this is the done finished look of me with the hair finished and styled. The brown did come out really pretty. It's just like something, it's not like too dramatic. You know what I mean? It's a simple color. That is all I could get from the color, Revlon color silk out of it. But you know, I still think that the hair is nice. Um, it, it was a kind of dry though. It was kind of dry. I don't know if it was the product that put, that made it dry, but it was a little bit dry. Um, but you know, that's the reason why I sprayed some water in it. So that way the curls could come back. You know, um, I was going to hot wand it like, but then I was like, I don't feel like doing all of that. That's just doing the most, you know what I mean? I just want to put it on and go basically. Um, but there's nothing wrong with the wig. It's decent. I bleached it. I pre-plucked it. You know what I mean? The lace is great. I like the color of the lace because it's kind of like, you know, it's peekaboo, see-through. You can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Um, the wigs on the website is affordable. Like I said, it's the second time that I did a wig for them on the third. I think it was like the third, okay? I think it was the third. Um, 22 inches um, lace frontal, you know, what was I saying it was? Jerry Curl Deep deep Wave. Okay, so it's a deep wave. Um. And, you know, that's basically it, you guys. I do like the way the color came out. But, you know, you know me. I love curly hair. I love wavy hair. Like, honeys. I could just put this on and run out the door. You know what I mean? I love the hairspray that holds it down. And the hairline was not that bad when I um plucked it. But I just liked it to be a little bit more natural. And also, what I was about to say, I can't even remember Oh my God. I hate when I cannot remember. I was about to say something. Oh, it did shed a little bit when I was brushing the conditioner through. So, you know, you might be wondering about that. But other than that, the wig came out cool. You know what I'm saying? It's a wig. Sometimes they start looking alike to me. That's why I try to do something different with them. But for deep wave and curly hair, I don't really be wanting to put too much processing of the curls because it will you'll lose the curls. So I just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do too much with it because I didn't want to lose the curls. So next time I'm going to use dark and lovely and see how brightish color that one gets on a curly one um i did um yeah that's just what i'm gonna do so i love you guys stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up all of the information will be down below you guys can definitely go ahead and you know put this in a bun hun if you want to um because you know it's just easy peasy so let me know what you think i gotta go i'll see you guys in another video I'm not a